This is the Yamaha CS5. Yamaha in the late 70s came out with a line of monosynths that were weirdly also given the CS title. Of course, their CS polysynths were first starting in about 1977. Uh, the CS line of monosynths came out more around 1979 and were completely different than the polyphonic series. There's a lot of people who refer to the CSs in one fell swoop, but the polyphonics are completely different from uh, the monophonics. The monophonics, kind of uh, unlike Yamaha's previous uh, instruments, the monophonic CS series kind of took on a sort of vaguely Korg MS look. I don't know if you've noticed that, but um, the CS series is an incredible design, and this is the least of the CS monophonic series. Of course, there's also the CS10, the CS15, and the CS30, uh, which are all amazing uh, synthesizers. Uh, you may have seen that I have a demonstration of the CS15. The CS15 is one of my favorite synthesizers of all time, and I was uh, very lucky to receive the CS5 because uh, the reason I was lucky is that it integrates so well with the CS15. It's basically another oscillator for the CS15, and that is awesome. But it is also a great monosynth in its own right. I've recently seen that it, it was used in a variety of European uh, synthesizer music back then. So it is, uh, it's a great little synthesizer. It is limited only having one VCO, one envelope, one filter, etc. But there are a lot of features that synthesizers this simple don't typically have that we're going to see. All right, let's dive into the VCO. The VCO on the Yamaha CS5. The VCO is, of course, sadly a single VCO, but it is a very nice VCO. Let's have a listen, shall we? Okay, this is the lowest note in our range here. So it doesn't go all the way down into the clicks and there's uh, really no way, I guess we can pitch bend down lower. There's the clicks, but uh, yeah, so it's that low. And then we have a whole bunch of uh, footage settings to get us further than this. And uh, that is, with the pitch bend, quite high. Actually, right out of my hearing, maybe it's still in your hearing. Holy cow, that's fantastic. So what we're saying here is that there is a very wide footage setting, which is cool. That allows you so much flexibility. Uh, there are a lot of monosense of this simplicity that did not have this range. What we've been listening to is the sawtooth. As you can see over here, the uh, and some monosense of this uh, level have this sort of functionality, but sometimes they don't. At times, you can only choose to have a sawtooth or a square wave. This one is set up so that there is a sawtooth output and a square wave output from the VCO, allowing you to use either or both, which is pretty cool. We'll demonstrate that later. But for now, let's have a listen to the square wave. We were listening previously to the sawtooth wave. Uh, wow, 
Okay, so <laughs> the square wave is very potent in the Yamaha CS5. That is a great deep bass square wave. Uh, you might notice me playing a C and not hearing anything, but this contact needs to be cleaned. Anyway. Let's go through the range. So yeah, there is, of course, the same range as the sawtooth, but you have both the saw and the square. All right, so uh, I guess what we can do is listen to the combination of saw and square. It's kind of cool to like, you can use these knobs as a sort of timbre modulation by turning them by hand. Which is a lot of fun. Okay, so we have both saw and square output. We've heard the whole range. There is a tuning knob in the oscillator, which is the minor third up. And it looks like a minor third. Basically, three half steps up and three half steps down which allows for a, uh, a decent amount of tuning. Uh, the one setback for this is that if you are using this synthesizer, for example, as another oscillator in your, um, another oscillator in combination with another of the CS mod, uh, monophonic series, you don't have the ability to put it a fifth above, uh, which is sad. I suppose you could use the pitch band which is a full octave. So like you could go if you're using it with the other synth. But the tuning is really a fine tune is the point I guess I am trying to make. Mm -hmm.